guys, my name is Julia and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos about university, optometry school, and just lifestyle in general. So I'm super excited to be starting this channel. And I wanted my first video to kind of be an introduction slash what is optometry school even about because I feel like there are so many different medical school or healthcare YouTubers out there but not a lot about optometry. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background and tell you what optometry school is really like. What is it all about? I have all the drama on my iPad so let's just get started. So if you want to be an optometrist then you have to go to optometry school which is a four-year degree. There are only two optometry schools in Canada, the University of Waterloo and the University of Montreal, but the University of Montreal is taught solely in French. So if you are an English speaker then your only choice is either Waterloo or to go to the states where they have like around 30 or so optometry schools. As I said, optometry school is four years. The first two years are didactic, so in the classroom, and the last two are clinical years. While third year is more of like a mix, fourth year is strictly you are working in the clinic and you do three rotations, I believe, that are four months each. You will have one rotation at Waterloo's optometry clinic and the other two could be out of the country or out of the province. And it could be at a hospital, a private practice, or just any type of clinic. Another question I get asked a lot is, how do you even apply to optometry school? I can do an entire video on this, and I will go into more detail about my application journey. But what I will say is you need three or four years of a Bachelor of Science degree, and you also need to write the OAT, the optometry admissions test. For Waterloo, you need to do the Casper online ethics test. You'll need some letters of reference, a minimum of eight hours shadowing an optometrist, but it's preferred to have a lot more hours. They also look at your extracurriculars and optometry related work experience. And it kind of differs between what Waterloo looks for and the States. For example, in the American applications, they ask you to write a little bit more about each hobby and you also have to do a personal statement. Whereas for Waterloo, it's a little bit shorter and more to the point. If your application is selected for an interview, then you have the chance to either head in person to the university or do an online interview. For Waterloo, they do a full day event where it's like a meet and greet type of vibe. I know I got to bring my parents and we spent the whole day at the school. We got a tour, we had a Q&A session with current optometry students, and then finally it was our interview time. And for the American schools, I did virtual interviews, but I can also do a full in-depth video on like how I prepared for my interviews and what my experience was like. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. But let's get into the nitty gritty details. What is optometry school really like? You really can't even perceive what it is like until you are actually in it. And I'm sure other people in professional schools can sort of relate, but optometry school was a mystery to despite how many videos I watched and how many people I spoke to before going in. Now you think you had it hard in undergrad. You probably did a really rigorous program and you were tested and you studied so hard, but just know that optometry school requires a different level of studying. In our first semester of first year, we take seven courses in labs. And in our second semester of first year, we take 10 courses plus labs. Just like any other medical school, you sort of take a wide variety of human physiology and pathophysiology courses, but we really focus on ocular disease and vision disorders and we also do a lot of things that involve physics specifically optics because it's important for us to know how light works in the eye and with lenses so that we can correct like refractive errors and things like astigmatism but optometrists can prescribe medication so we do take a pharmacology class we take a systemic disease course um, pathophysiology, general anatomy, and we really focus on neuroanatomy because a lot of ocular disorders are rooted in brain issues. But what exactly do we take? So in first semester, you will take neuroanatomy, medical microbiology, optics, histology, perception, human gross anatomy, and clinical experience. Throughout first and second year of optometry school, you have the opportunity to shadow upper years in the clinic, and that is what the clinical experience course is. And then in your second semester, first year is when you start clinical techniques. So that would involve going to preclinic and learning skills like retinoscopy, visual acuities, slit lamp, gonioscopy, things like that. In second semester of first year, you will take pathophysiology, public health optometry, clinical techniques, optometric jurisprudence, color vision, immunology, visual optics, optics, ocular anatomy and physiology, clinical experience two, 
A typical schedule for me looks like waking up at 7.30 and making it to school for class at 8.30. And then certain days when we wouldn't have labs, I'd end around like 12.30. But when we had labs, I'd be in school until 5.30. I feel like in undergrad, I had a good solid study routine. And I tried to carry this over to optometry school. And in some ways it worked, but in other ways it didn't. I was an Anki warrior at the beginning of the semester. And I still do use Anki, but just not to the same extent that I used to. I feel like I was coming home from every lecture in the first three weeks of class and just making a bunch of Anki cards and then starting my reviews. But the cards were quickly adding up and the reviews would take like an hour to two hours and I just felt like with the limited time that I actually had to study it would be better suited or it would be more useful to just learn new content instead of reviewing things that I should technically already know so I kind of stopped resorting strictly to just Anki flashcard memorization and more to just like reviewing the material after my lecture so I would just go home and like do a little skim of what we learned that day and I found like I was still able to retain a good amount of it but I can do a full video on how I studied so again let me know if this is something you want to see now let's talk about the fun things in optometry school which are I guess like the social events in the community that we have <laughs> At Waterloo, we have an entire week dedica dedicated to orientation events. So these are planned by amazing second years and they are so fun. So we did things like bowling, go-karting. We had like a mystery trip. We had a pub night. We did a sports event. And then even throughout the semester, there are so many different clubs that you can join. Most people join Canadian Association of Optometry Students and you get a little cute optometry backpack. And when you're part of chaos, you can go to the Montreal trip. There's a vision therapy club, binocular vision club, American American Association of Optometry Students and there's like a student government. We have a class president, a vice president, and sports reps, social reps, and things like that. Each first year is also paired with a second year big sip and that kind of acts as like your mentor throughout the school year. So yeah, there's just a really good community here at Waterloo and there's always ways to get involved and to sort of break up all of your studying and just do fun things and meet Cool people. I think I'm gonna end the video here, but I will definitely be posting more vlogs throughout the school year. And I'm thinking of doing a video on how I studied for the OAT and sort of my application process. But let me know what you guys wanna see. I'd be happy to hear your opinions and input in the comments. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my first video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.